Whether it be laser surgery, genetic engineering, or new diagnostic heart technology, the conquest of space has changed the very fabric of our lives. The latest of these technological miracles resulting from the NASA space program is a new flat ribbon-like form of lighting, lighting that has never before been available to the general public. We call it Californion. You'll call it unbelievable. Hey, honey, what are you doing with the car? I'm planning my strategy. Your strategy? Your strategy? Well, what are you contemplating, my general? The invasion of Russia? No, it's better than that. It's the Californian that I've been waiting for all summer. <gasps> you finally got it. Yeah. Well, can I help? Sure. Hey, let's be careful. You wouldn't want to do that to a light bulb. Now you can damage the edges. Well, if it's that delicate, why put it on the car? No, it's not that it's that delicate. Once it's on the car, it's almost indestructible. Okay. So what do we do first? Directions say we should divide the process into four operations. Planning, preparing, installing, ah, and enjoying. Mm. I'm for that. Mm. So let's plan. Okay. Okay, now first I have to look at the contours of the vehicle to choose a smooth, flat surface for installation. Now I think I want to put the Californian along this crease right here, then go up under the gas tank and right around here. Honey, it says here that they recommend placing it above the fuel tank filler lid if possible. Okay. All right, that's a good idea. Then I'll go along this crease right here. What do you think? I think I'll follow you anywhere, Mon General. Mm. How about to the garage? Why the garage? I gotta test the lighting before I put it on. <laughs> so why the garage? Oh, the Californian is a night lighting. You can't see it during the daylight, but at night, it looks beautiful. <laughs> the Californian kit consists of 10 wire ties, six easy lock connectors, eight foam ceiling packs, an instructional video, a warranty card, an instruction sheet, a squeegee, 30 feet of wire, the Californian lamp, a hardware pack consisting of wire nuts, mounting screws, and a connector alignment guide, a power pack, and split loom tubing. Caution, do not do the following. Do not step on Californian or drag it across an abrasive surface. Do not crease or excessively twist. Do not leave ends exposed for it may create fraying. We recommend that the finished end wraps around the surface of a body or door panel approximately one and a half inches. To seal the end, extend coloring tape a half inch past the lighting surface. If no coloring tapes are available, a non-conductive electrical tape can be employed. If mounting connectors in an area where it can be exposed to road grit, such as behind the bumper or under the vehicle, you should apply silicon caulk around the connector. Do not spill gasoline or use harsh solvents or chemicals on the Californian. Clean with soap and water or rubbing alcohol. Do not machine buff, hand wax only. So is it difficult? No, actually it's pretty simple. It's like uh, plugging in a string of Christmas lights. Notice that your new Californian has a groove on the back with an aluminum strip on each side. This is important because the connector into which it goes has corresponding metal piercing connector strips on it. These strips must never cross over the groove or cross each other. A short circuit will result. Cut connectors apart. Important. To ensure positive locking, trim off excess plastic flashing on connector edges. After cutting connectors apart, spread metal piercing strips as far apart as possible. Flex connector back and forth at hinges, then completely close connector and pry open again. This step will ensure that the connector will close and lock properly. Place connector in alignment tool, then peel back adhesive backing and position Californion. Caution, do not insert Californion into connector more than 3 16 of an inch. Be sure groove on back of the Californian strip lies directly over the space between the metal piercing strips. Check this carefully, then squeeze tightly with your thumb and fingers. Check grooves again, then using pliers squeeze very hard so that the metal points punch through the Californian and compress on the back side of the strip. 
You should be able to feel them with your fingers when done properly. Do not worry, you will not hurt the Californion. The tighter the better. Now check grooves again by holding it up to the light. If the grooves line up, proceed to the next step. If they do not light up, cut off the connector and repeat the connector process. Cut about three feet of wire and strip back the wire about two and a half inches. Do not strip insulation from wires inside. Insert wire through the holes in the connector as shown. It doesn't matter which hole the black or the red wire goes into. Carefully fold side A over so that the wires align with the slots in the alignment tool. Pull wire tightly into slots in alignment tool and down as shown. This will assure that they will be aligned with the piercing strips in the connector. Next, fold side B so that it locks closed over side A and carefully trim off the excess black and red wire. Place connector assembly onto a very hard surface such as a concrete floor and using a hammer, hit the connector a couple of times firmly on the wire side of the connector. This will drive the metal piercing points through the red and black wire insulation into the wire. At this point, it's important to make sure that the edges of the lamp are tightly sealed. So as a precaution, please use the squeegee provided and seal off all the cut Californion ends with the clear nail polish before applying to vehicle. Okay, Nina, you take the red wire and touch it to the battery terminal with the plus sign and the black wire to the other terminal. And watch what happens. Whoa! Wow! God, that's incredible! Oh. What makes it light up like that? This is how they light the space shuttle, babe. Oh my gosh, let's get going. I want to show our friends they're going to go wild. No, wait, slow down, babe. We still have to install it first. <laughs> first, plan where to install the Californion strips. Then using a portion of your 30-foot hookup wire, route the main power lead from the hood area to the furthest connection. Then find a suitable location for the power pack. After that, cut and measure each Californion strip leaving one and a half inches on each end. One end for finishing and the other end for terminating. Now use another connector to attach three feet of hookup wire. With that, it is now ready to test and apply. Now repeat for each section. Okay, first prep the area with some alcohol. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we got to cut it to size, so read me the directions. <laughs> Great. Now start with the front of the door and tape the connector about an inch and a half past the door and extend it forward to exactly where you want the light to end. Okay. Hold it in place with another piece of tape. It says to be careful here and double check it before you cut it. Okay. Got it. What's next? Next is the door. <sighs> Okay. <clears throat> Remember to leave it an inch and a half longer on each side. Right. Says so to start at the rear and tape the lamp exactly where you want the light to end and then cut it an inch and a half past each end. Okay. Okay, now what? Now you do the rear of the car just like you did the front, except start here and go back. Oh, okay. Now you just have to connect it, just like you would test to see if the roll light up in the garage. Great, now you peel off the backing as you apply it onto the car up here, just like you would do pinstriping. Okay. All right. You can give me a hand, you can like hold it down. Okay, make sure it's real straight. I will, I will. Okay. You hold, you start peeling just back. Make sure it's really straight. Okay, easy, easy, let's do small sections at a time. Okay. That's that it. looks great. This isn't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that looks yeah. really good, honey. I know. Gosh, this could look great. Keep it straight. I got it, I got it. This is going to look so great, honey. I can't wait. Okay. Wait, now let me get this down and leave the connector. Great. Nice and easy.
If applying the lamp by yourself, remember to place masking tape every 10 inches to guarantee that the tape will stay exactly where you want it to. Here we go. I can't believe we're almost done. All right, let's open the trunk. <laughs> Great, let's put it in. Okay, so now we connect this in the trunk, and we'll run this to the power line later. Great. All right? All right. All right. Okay, so what's next? Well, we have to hook up the power pack. So we run the power line through the car into the trunk and then connect it to the furthest connection point. Okay. Okay, what now? We have to connect the power pack. Mm -hmm. So first you attach the black wire from the power pack to any good ground screw. Okay. And what about the red? Then the remaining red wire hooks to the hot lead of the back of the parking lights. Okay. That's just white wire. It's a running light. It means it goes on when the headlights go on. Okay, now what about these two yellow wires? We're going to hook those up to the power wire, which runs through the car to the back. Oh, okay. All right. Then we'll just feed this through to the door, okay? Great. Where's the other end? It's right there. Good. Feed it to me around. Okay. Okay, honey, feed it. Feed it through. Good. 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 Okay, now I just want to tuck the wires away. Come on through. Okay, home stretch, baby. Mm -hmm. You know, it says here we're supposed to have some coloring tape, but I don't see any. Oh, no, I had to buy it separately. It comes in seven different colors, but I think we should wait till it gets dark. Why? Well, it's easier to cover the white light in the dark. We'll get back to our couple in a moment, but first a couple of tips from the technical folks at AI. When dealing with a four-door, it is much like the two-door, except you have an extra door to wire. You must route the hookup wire around the post to the back of the rear door. Let's look at trucks. They're just a little bit different. Most of it is just like a regular car. You do the front fender, the door, and the panel behind the door. In addition, you will need to route another hookup wire from the power pack under the chassis to the rear of the truck bed. For convenience, follow the existing wire harness. A tailgate is not much different than a door. They just hinge at the bottom. Where bumpers have existing wiring such as fog lights, running lights, turn signals, or license plate lights, route the hookup wire alongside the existing wire harness supplying the bumper. For bumpers without existing wiring, follow the vehicle's wire harness close to the bumper. Then continue the hookup wire to the rear of the bumper through any bumper mounting point. Cut the lamp an extra one and a half inches at each end for proper wraparound. Make and test connections as shown earlier. To protect the lamp from impact damage, preferred installation is in a groove or other recessed area. And finally, Californion is manufactured to emanate a brilliant white glow. Color is added by an overlay process of one or more different color tapes applied over the lamp. These tapes come in red, lime green, amber, turquoise, orange, purple, and dark blue. Oh, I'm so excited. Huh? Honey, it looks unbelievable. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let's take this car tonight. 
But honey, you just spent all this time putting the Californian on your car. I know, but I got a little surprise for you. Oh, huh? it's fabulous! Yeah. Gosh, when did you have time to do this? While you were getting ready. <laughs> You're unbelievable. 